Hello search committee, my name is Josh Landis and I first want to thank you for the opportunity to um, share a little bit about myself and why I think I would fit really well with you and on your team at Ashland. I moved to Ohio a little over four years ago. Um, I would, let me rewind back to my first job. I was a youth pastor in Philadelphia at First Presbyterian Church of Westchester. And I remember looking one day at my senior pastor, um, Bill Hess, uh, his sweatshirt, and it said Ashland Theological Seminary. And I thought to myself, Ashland, hmm, interesting. And then um, later I came to find out my mother-in-law as well went to Ashland, uh, Sue Zacharias, for her counseling degree. Um, so it was little whispers here and there that really led me to Ashland and to even know the information I do today about it. Um, so we moved to Ohio about four years ago after we had our second child, Eli, my wife and I, and uh, I uh, got a job at a um, character education company where we taught middle schoolers and high schoolers about um, anti-bullying and just other character ed and virtues. I was the creative director there. And uh, I oversaw all of the program development as well as training the presenters and uh, making sure everything that was written was good and that was worthwhile um, in presenting to the kids. And then after about a year, I decided that I really missed being in church and I wanted to get back into church work. And I providentially found the church I'm working at now, our new communities, which is in Berea, Ohio. And the job of my my, my job, my family pastor job, was a providential um working um, and I've been there for the last past three years. It was a church plant. I really, um, I would have never seen myself as a church planner and even today I, um, I just marvel at how God's hand was at work the whole time and still is at work today. Um, but three and a half years later I've helped create a ministry, I've helped oversee volunteers and train people, I've learned a whole bunch about leadership, and I find myself in the boat I am today with my family of three, searching for full-time employment, and um, that's why I, I, I've been, I, I found your job online. I've been looking for full-time employment. The church and myself both decided it'd be the best for me. Um, they've been paying me part-time this whole time. Um, and it's just time to move on and to find something that's stable for my family. I, I really have a slew of experience from my short seven year of professional life uh, between churches and nonprofit organizations and uh, theatrical experiences that all plays in to who I am today and the leader that I am. So let me just uh, go over a few of these things. One, I think I can connect with volunteers and uh, also paid workers uh, that I do at my church. And I think that the skills I learned there about leadership and about challenging and about listening and about leading uh, could, could uh, overlap and um, help the alumni. Uh, another big thing that I'm really good at is creating community. I think I am, one of my top gifting is creating space for people to be together. Um, and um, to think about, you know, I was looking at some of your numbers. You have uh, 4,500 alumni world round. That's a lot of alumni, right? But um, what a cool web that they're connected with. And to think that I would uh, could be a part of creating a community with those people and, and bringing them back together and saying, you know, you're all home here. I think uh, that's something that I could do very well. Also just making connection points. I'm a great listener. I, I listen and I find, I pull out things in people. I say, you know, uh, I really think God's Spirit leads me to ask the right questions about people's lives and, you know, what are, what are they being challenged with right now? What are, what, are they, um, what are they gifted with? How are they using their gifts? So I think uh, creating a community where people can be challenged um, and also connect with one another I think is one of my top giftings. Um, I have great short and long-range planning. I'm a really great long-range planner, um, but I also am really good at creating um, tasks to make the long-range plan come to fruition in a short-range time span. Um, another thing that I get with my theatrical background is working together on a team. If you've never done a show before, I've done a lot of shows, a lot of shows, over a hundred shows, uh, either directing or choreographing. And one thing you have to know is how to work on a team. Um, you have to know how to 
uh, help the director get, get this vision visually, musically, um, just the whole package. Um, you have to know how to kowtow to their wishes, but also how to push and how to challenge in a way that will make the whole production better and that's one thing that I've done over and over and over and I think that through those productions I've really learned about working together on a team and lastly one of my high points is just working for churches I've worked for churches all my life and I know how to connect with senior pastors with youth pastors with church staff secretaries with elders elder teams I know how to connect with churches it's something I've been doing for my whole career and it's something that I've learned how to be good at it, whether it's traditional or contemporary churches. I would say that the first thing I want to do is experience the four core values that you have firsthand. I want to be an expert at whatever I do. So that means I want to experience the core values of scripture, spiritual formation, community, and academic excellence. I want to be an expert at those things because I'm going to be um, creating community where people had those. And I want to experience why Ashland has those four core values and how the people that have learned from Ashland are continuing on with those core values in their lives and in their ministry. So I think that's what I want to experience through classes, through community events. I want to get my hands dirty and up to my elbows in Ashland, um, Ashland experiences. The second thing is I would love to create a network for alumni to find support and to bounce new ideas, to refresh their ideas as they do ministry. One thing that jumped out at me from your mission statement was the term continuing to continuum of learning. And I think creating this continuum of learning for alumni, for each other, that they can constantly be renewed and they can challenge one another and find support because they are out in the trenches and they... Uh, they can listen to each other and give support. And the last thing I'd love to do is um, I'd like to stre strengthen partnerships with current community con um, connections, whether it's churches or other organizations, other nonprofits or for-profits, strengthen those, introduce myself obviously, and just uh, listen about how they felt their partnership has been going with Ashland. And then also I'd love to find at least one or, new, one or two new partnerships within the first year at least of, of my um, of my job with you. Um, I really believe in not reinventing the wheel and if something is already happening within the community, let's keep the partnerships up, strengthen those partnerships, and use each other's resources because we are all the body of Christ. So this is a little bit about me. Um, I would love to have a furthering conversation with the committee, with you, Will. I would love to come down and visit the campus. I'm just a hop, skip, and a jump on 71. I've driven past uh, Grandpa's Cheese Barn many a times on my way camping with my family. Uh, I would love to come and visit you all. So here's hoping for another opportunity to be together, and I'll be um, looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. God bless you.